What's up guys, welcome back to Soul Silver. I did what I said I would, I caught a Nidoran off screen since we knew that was gonna be my encounter here. Caught one Nidoran male. I named it Titus, cause that's the first thing I thought of. I uh, got a couple potions, super potions, antidotes, all that stuff, just a few. I think I have five of each. So, we're all good, ready to go. Okay, let's, uh, how many headbutts will this take? Do I wanna, I was gonna say do I wanna switch, but who the hell am I gonna switch to? Sure would be nice if Harold was alive. I miss him already. I miss him still. It's just not the same. Because I now that I have Hoot Hoot, I can't decide should I train Hoot Hoot or should I train Zubat, so I'm doing neither one. Two options is too many to choose from. What am I, a cyborg? You want me to choose between two things? Blasphemy, I can't do it. That's all it takes. You know, most uh, most people have trouble choosing between a lot of things. You know, like, oh, you go on Netflix and you're looking for something to watch and there's too many options so you don't pick anything. That's not unique. That's that's a lot of people. I can't choose between two things. <laughs> I, have, I have issues there. But yeah. Uh, fucking what? You, get out of there. You're, you'll be fine. You're good enough. You're great. Absorb's not going to matter. I'm not dealing with your ass shit. I have Ice Fang. So, fang it. Right, and it's the lie ball. Okay. A Tangela at the beginning of a video should not be this obnoxious. Surprised it didn't go for Absorb, but we're good. I got the healing items just for this. I just gotta remember that in the future when it's a less critical situation. Or in case it's a more critical situation. The opposite of what I said. It was it was fine here. We're just in the middle of a route, it's not that big of a deal. But you know, I don't want to get into something serious later on, like one of those surprise rival battles. Of course you want my number, of course you do. Where, uh, you know, it's like, oh shit, I didn't buy anything. Because, uh, like I've said before, my normal Pokemon playthroughs, I... I rarely buy stuff, so I, I then f I just forget. Do I have any berries so I don't have to waste the bigger items? I have not a single berry. You didn't really get berries, you get apricorns. Huh. I mean, I guess I've had a couple, but you don't get many. Oh well. I'm in the wrong. Yeah, I'm in the wrong, just in general. I don't want to waste the awakening. It'll wake up on its own eventually. Give, uh, give Flaffy a nice rest. Here you go, though. Geodude's a little behind. In the levels. So here you go. In the flower shop's Floria! Listen, listen, when I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it... Oh, that's a square bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. I'm going to soak it. Fuck you, tree! Do it. Oh my god! Shit! Alright, well, if I hadn't got a Pokemon in that grass, I could have made Pseudo Wudo my encounter, but I don't want Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> I just don't. Its mouth looks really funny. <laughs> this is that pink line? It looks kind of absurd. Can I just run? Okay. Well then, I was going to switch, if I couldn't run, I was going to switch to Croconaw, but you could probably do it. Give me that magnitude, get some high numbers. Oh, that was a critical hit, you did a really good job. Go back to your day job of being a tree. Oh, now you're, oh, you think you can magnitude like I can? No way, you're done. If you had gotten a chance, you would have gotten, like, magnitude... Two. You can't steal from the best and try to replicate it. You're, you're just gonna you're gonna flounder. You're gonna flail about as you were. Your magnitude would just be nothing compared to mine. Berry pod. Now I can get berries or plant berries or something. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it at all. But I'll I'll take these berries and just use them. Can I have like Pecha and you know status ones like that? Would've been nice if you were a couple seconds earlier. I could've given that to Flaffy, but it doesn't matter now. I have him. I am going there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Isn't 
to my right, like uh, Ruins of Alf. Yeah, try back here again. There's, I don't really think there's anything new I can do. All I've gotten since then is cut, but yeah. We're, we've circled back around. What the hell's over here? Okay, that's a little extreme for this point in the game. I don't think I need a Hyper Potion, but I will gladly take it. Anything else random? That tree in the middle is upsetting me. Ooh, 37. Well, I guess I can get another new encounter if there's anything new. I'm going to run out at some point. These routes that are all close together, right next to each other, there's probably not much difference between them. So there might not be anything new here, but uh, I can look it up. We're in the middle of a battle. Not, not, it's not a place I need to pay attention. You've gone to sleep! These stupid-ass trainers doing shit like this. It's dumb. Stop it. Play normal. <laughs> I resorted to sand attack only when I had to. I didn't do stupid moves like that just at the beginning. Like, oh, and you, you think you're... You're cool because like, you're strategizing. Like, oh, I have Dream Eater. It's part of the. It's part of the strategy. I'm a. I'm a real trainer. No. Shut up. Die. Shut up and die. Also, maybe even in the other order. Die and then shut up. So what's on route? Who's the what's it? It's route 37. Apparently, let's go to generation four. There's Vulpixes and Growliths. Oh, I wish I was playing Heart Gold. I could get a Growlithe. It's way better. I can only I can get Vulpix because it's Soul Silver. Um, apparently Vulpix. This is a different rarity at different times during the day, but it is available at all times during the day. There's also Ladyba, Spinarak in Heart Gold. I can't really say I want a, a Ladyba. There's also Stantler. Whoa. Then, of course, there's headbutt things, which I've pretty much decided not to headbutt. But yeah, we'll just... Okay, I'm trying to look at Bulbapedia game. What are you distracting me with gameplay for? Um, we'll get one of those. We'll see what happens. Fantastic. I don't know why I even bother picking them. I don't do anything with them. I just like the animation and the sound. Just the little boop. It's fun. It's the little things in life. Those small little joys. It's a Stantler! What a weird guy. He needs an evolution or a mega evolution or something cool. You're asleep. I didn't I didn't switch. Let's go to the one who's awake. I think I bought No, I didn't buy any Pokeballs, because I, I have enough. Since I can only catch one Pokemon per route. I'm not gonna be wasting a ton and overall I don't think things will be too hard to catch, so I didn't feel like I gotta stock up. Now this thing will probably give me trouble trying to catch it, now that I've said that. Pokeball, go! I have an Ultra Ball if I need to, you silly deer. Get him. Okay. I don't know why I don't have any Great Balls. Maybe they sell those and I just haven't bought any yet. I have a random Ultra Ball for some reason. Uh... Fuck it. Do it. If that doesn't catch it, there's a problem here. We're gonna have to take this outside. Fucking... Alright, it's not even Sun and Moon. I thought that was exclusive to Sun and Moon. I, I was having a lot of bullshit, terrible luck with Pokeballs in that game. No, it's apparently just Pokemon in general. Are you kidding me? It's a fucking Stantler. Its health is, is low. And it was an Ultra Ball. Then, of course, the Pokeball shakes more. Still doesn't catch it. Stantler, why don't you suck a couple dicks? All right, uh, I don't want you badly enough to to be doing this. I'm only catching you because you are my encounter. The gods of the Nuzlocke have told me that you must be mine. That's why I'm here. We're, that's why we're doing this. That's all it is. I don't want you. So for you to waste my time, waste my Pokeballs, wake up. I do want you. That's why you're here. That's why you've been trained up. That's why you are being used in battle, and you're good. So you need to do your job, and I thank you for waking up and doing it. Stantler needs to do his job of getting in the Pokeball, going in the PC, never to be heard from again. It's comfortable in there. You'll have a decent life, I promise. Motherfucker. 
Are you kidding me with this shit? I knew it. Of course I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm having trouble catching any Pokemon. No way. And then this giant asshole, this dilapidated fungal bunghole of a, of a deer is doing this to me. What is it? Who? At Game Freak, who decided, hey, let's take the mechanic of catching Pokemon and make it really dumb? Do the, throw that. I'm not going to use it ever, so throw it. What the fuck? It's a Stantler. It's, what? And I've spent five minutes of this episode fighting this Stantler. And it's going to amount to nothing. What's a lore? It's like for fish. Stantler's not fish. Get the fuck out of here. Kill me. Fuck Stantler. I went back and I decided to heal my Pokemon. I didn't buy anything because I went to Violet City. They probably don't have anything good. But man, what an idiot. <laughs> what a terrible person Stantler is. I'll get one later. Stupid deer. I'll get the Pokeballs later from Ecrotique and I'll come back. I'll get it. How dumb is that? Because in Sun and Moon, I've just had the most trouble. I can't... You, was. Does Magnitude hit everything? I don't see why it wouldn't. I've had the most trouble with that kind of shit. It, it's that, but all the time. But it's certainly not exclusive to those games. We have it here, too. Stan it's not... Nobody wants Stantler. It doesn't evolve. It doesn't do anything. I don't like Pokemon that don't evolve. Evolution is, like, one of the big things. It's, like, a huge goal to work up to. You want to see your Pokemon evolve. I don't think I want Rollout, but I'm going to get it rather than Defense Curl, because I'm never going to use that, so might as well. But yeah, like, Pokemon that don't evolve, that's, like, I like Heracross, he's great, but he doesn't evolve, so it's like, eh. So evolution is a huge thing. When they're fully evolved, it's like, oh my god, how amazing is that? That's why I like Pokemon that evolve twice, just the more the better. I don't know if Stantler's any good, regardless of that, but I don't want it. And yet I had to go through that heartache. The pain. Come, Jude. Can I double battle these guys, or are they going to do one at a time? Just come at me, both of you. It's fine. Okay, good. Take page out of those little girls' notebooks. You guys do the same. I'm going to run into 87 different Pokemon running through that patch of grass. Unless I spray a repel. Hello, beauties. Let me tell you, in Sun and Moon, the, the female sprites are really hot. I don't even care how weird that might sound. They actually are. Like, they... They went all out. They're like, yeah, do it. Just make them hot. And they did. It's cool. Anyway. Get him, Wigglytuff. I was gonna say it looks so happy, but there's something off about its smile. It looks more confused. Like it's being forced into this. And it being told that it's normal and that it should be happy. So it's trying to put that on, but it doesn't actually know how to feel. And we'll never know, because it's dead! Clefairy, Clefable, whoever you are, you just look genuinely okay. You're from the moon, though, so, you know. You can put your finger down. It's pointing up. I want to go home. Clefairies come from the moon. According to Sun and Moon, Haunters and Gengars are former humans, and some other Pokemon have that, too. Why the same thing? Um, and... Yeah, like the, I think it's Yamask or whatever. I think they have that entry, like they used to be humans. So that's weird. We're gonna get into the origins of Pokemon, like a bunch of them have different kinds of origins. It's very, very strange if they ever wanted to explore that, like in general, where they all came from. It'd be pretty hard. Uh huh. All these battles, they take so much longer than they should. Because it is dumbness. Maybe I just feel that way because I'm recording, so I try to speed it all along. But they just feel like they always take so long. And now she'll have a wiggly tough. As long as you guys don't have metronome and get some garbage, like that one Clefairy did. So far, they're not using anything like that. I'm just double teaming different ones. Just pick the Wigglytuff this time, because why not? If you metronome surf 
or earthquake or something, I'll be pissed off. Oh, slap the rock. That'll do it. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I sneezed. I'm dying. Oh my god. Somebody help me. <clears throat> All right. We're fine. Everything's fine here, guys. Don't worry about it. This is gonna be okay. Oh, did you see that? Geo dude coming through. That hurt my back. Like I sneezed and now my back hurts. <laughs> Ow. Never do that again, body. What's the matter with you? I ruptured a spine vessel. Get him. Uh, how many? T we're just how, with the wiggly tufts and the clefairy. It's the clefay, whatever. We're doing the same thing, man. It's not even cool. It's dumb. And you're doing that nonsense. But we're almost there, though. It's just these guys, and then we're home free. If we can get to a critique. What else can I talk about? I went to Walmart this morning. I bought posters. So I'm setting up a area of my room. I moved some stuff around and set up an area for like a spot to record in that's different than the one I usually do. Or not record these, but record myself for videos on other channels. And I want to put posters up, so I went and I bought a couple posters. I got one of Deadpool, and I got one of Star of uh, Darth Vader. It's technically Star Wars Rogue One, but it's mostly Darth Vader on the whole thing. And I'm going to hang them up, trying to keep them flattened out because they were all rolled up, so I'm trying to flatten them out and we're playing Pokemon while the posters are flattening and it's fun. I also bought gift cards for my parents for Christmas because I don't know what to actually get them. If I actually asked them, they'd tell me that they don't want anything. And there's there's just absolutely nothing I could really possibly get. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll get gift cards. Oh, you again. What right do you think you have to frisk me and touch my hard stone. That's what I thought. Ecratique City. What a wondrous place. Let's explore. Let's check out the place. See what the hell's going on around here. Yeah. Right? Uh, sure. I like that. Take the... What do I get? A dousing mitchin! That's my favorite item. I can't believe it. I'm never going to use it. If I was playing on my own, I probably would. Well, the one in uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is really useful. Just it being on the touchscreen, the way it's used, is really good. There's a gym. Um, but I use it a lot in that game, but most other games, I don't really bother. Maybe I would if I wasn't recording, but... Whoa, what the fuck? Bill? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Huh, Josh, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed... The system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl Lynette from Hoenn made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Uh, okay. Great. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, he's great. It's crazy. I wish I had my own my own Ghastly Haunter Gengar something, so I can use it against him and see which one's better. It'd be pretty dangerous, but you know. I'd do it anyway. Or if I had like an Abra, go in there and get him, because I'd probably be faster so I can get in there before he gets me. I have Drowsy, that's a Psychic type. I don't really want to use it though. It is, it is pretty dangerous using the Psychic against the Ghost. They are part poison, so I'd be good, but then you got their Ghost moves against me, and Drowsy does not have the speed of, of Abracadabra, those guys. So, yeah, let's just explore Ecarty. Let's see what's going on. See if there's anything interesting anywhere. We got the Mar. I do want to buy stuff for sure. Now that we're here in a new place where they probably sell some decent things. Do I? Have okay, I'll talk to you. you. Can go up to the white, the white mark indicating that's where you go. No. Um, do I have anything like? Oh yeah, I don't want this. Two fifty. That's it. I don't really have anything else. Uh, do I have like X items that I can sell? I know I do. Yeah, get rid of this nonsense. Garbage. 500 bucks, just like that. Do you have anything cool? I don't have any more Pokeballs. Let's just get 10. Oh, a uh, no, Premier Ball. That's the most amazing. Let's get 10 of these. Can I get a Premier Ball? I'll get a Premier Ball for buying the more expensive one. Ass. I've, I've got these. I don't need any more repels. Let's just get back up to 10. Let's buy three. I'm spending all my money, which really makes me uncomfortable, because that's so against what I normally do. But, hey, fuck it. It's there for a reason. It's there to be spent. What am I saving for? My future? My future is Pokemon. Hey, hey! Uh-huh. 
Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push a re such a request on me. Huh? You telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Wait, who is this? Uh, he was still saying that. What the fuck? What? What do you What do you make of this? All right. Yeah, this guy. He seems like he's causing some trouble. That Psyduck is pissed off. Look at him. He's he's ready to go. He's ready to kick ass. I'm gonna go kick ass on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.